Hi all and welcome to another video by Scrapping with Kids. So what we have here is uh, some of the barbecue gas fittings. As uh, we are in the lockdown here in Melbourne, I thought uh, what a good opportunity to go through some of these and remove some of the brass. And uh, I thought well let's just uh, see if they're actually worth uh, scrapping. So I had a look for some videos, I couldn't really find anything on YouTube so I've decided to make one and just have a look at some numbers and uh, hopefully give you some insight on how much uh, brass there really is in these fittings. So your typical fitting will be just sort of one brass fitting which majority of barbecues will have but there are also fittings that you might find actually look like this so you might find additional or bigger brass fitting so like this one here has an additional small brass fitting there this one has an elbow type which there's quite a bit of brass on that one um, you'll also find fittings like these that have different types of elbows so obviously these type will have um, quite a bit more brass than the normal fitting that just that, um, looks like that so for this video what I'm doing is I'm only using these fittings so I'm not going to use the ones that actually have extra brass on them. Now um, I've got a scale here and just to have some starting point I'm going to start off with just one kilo and um, see how much brass can we get from one kilo of barbecue gas fittings. So to make up one kilo, believe it or not, you will need I'll move that one out of the way so we can see. And we'll try and fit one more on there. So you will need only five barbecue gas fittings to be roughly about a kilo so we're a tiny bit over but that's okay because some of them have a bit of hose on them so let's see how much brass we can get from your typical one brass fitting so I'll just check the comparison with just one gas fitting um, just for my knowledge so as you can see some of them weigh in at uh, roughly about 200 grams or just on the like this one is um, now I'll take these start taking this brass off now but just before I do I just wanted to show you also that uh, some of these fittings uh, there's quite a few different ways to remove them. Some of them have Allen, Allen key um, head just at the end here that you can just unscrew. But some of the others, uh, okay, so this one here is also Allen key head. Um, but some of them will require you to use uh, possibly like this one here. As you can see, you can just use your shifter your s or your spanner on there. Um, or sometimes you might need to use your multi grips tool to remove. Okay, so like this one here, for example, doesn't have an Allen key, it doesn't have anywhere to put your shifter on. So, what you might have to do, you might have to use your multi grips tool to grip on 
to there and just uh, undo it. Okay, so let's take five five of these fittings off now. For this one, we just need an Allen key. Couple of the fittings uh, that we've got from this one. Now with this smaller one, just remove this uh, rubber thing from the pliers. Just rip that off. Actually, we probably could have done this before we. So. Now we have clean brass. Okay. We'll get that and we'll get the other four completed. As I said before, it's a lot easier if you just uh, remove this rubber now while the fitting is in the vise. Now all of these can be done also with their device, but the um, device just makes it a whole lot easier. Um, with this fitting here, we're going to need the multi-grips. Fitting. So this is a different Allen key. different sizes uh, as you just saw uh, of Allen key you might require different fittings process is uh, quite straightforward uh, as, you, as, as I'm showing you here uh, very simple 
Yeah, the other process is where you can do, you can remove some of these uh, contain aluminium. Some of them are mixed aluminium and steel. But uh, as I mentioned for today's video, we're only doing brass. Maybe we'll do another video on uh, separating aluminium and steel from there. That's our five fittings, one kilo worth of fittings, so let's grab these and uh, we'll weigh them up. What do you think guys? How much is in here? Let's have a look. Okay, so here's our pile, and we'll just turn the scales on. Okay, zero. Let's put these um, Okay. We have 249 grams. So 250, let's round it up to. So that's uh, out of a kilo of fittings, which we measured earlier, which was five fittings, just plain fittings, make up uh, roughly one kilo. So what we're saying is you're getting roughly 25% brass and one kilo of uh, fittings. So 20, 20 of these fittings and uh, which is just the plain ones will give you one kilo of uh, brass. As, and also as I mentioned earlier some of these other ones will give you even more because there's quite a bit more brass in it. So 250 grams from one kilo. Let's do the rest of them and uh, see how much we actually have out of this uh, big uh, bucket. The bucket's not full as you can see. It's only, let's say, half including these ones. So I'll remove all of them and uh, just give you an update how much uh, I've got from all of them and I'll count each one so roughly we'll see what the numbers are. We've just uh, scrapped all our fittings so in total we had 41 uh, barbecue gas fittings. Now this is all the copper from it. Um, that's the first batch from the first five and this is the whole lot so what we're going to do we're just going to weigh the whole lot now 41 gas fittings let's see um, what we're going to get just turn the scale on that's zero we'll put this tub on there just zero that again Okay, so the zero now.
So almost three kilos of brass fittings from um, 41, um, 41 barbecue gas fittings. So that's actually really good. Three kilos, it's roughly about five fifty six dollars a kilo. So um, about eighteen dollars. Fifteen to eighteen dollars uh, right there. So this is actually really good effort because uh, it took me I would say about forty minutes to complete these. So really really good effort and uh, very simple and easy um, removal process now I will give you a tip also I found a couple of these actually um, really hard to get off so you might need a grinder So just for your own um, information Maybe just have a grinder handy because uh, I had to use it for a couple of these fittings. Um, Alright, so that's 3 kilos to add to our brass collection, which is really good. It took us not that long to complete and uh, yeah, really good result. So every little bit adds up and uh, it's definitely worth getting these guys all right well thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video um, don't forget to smack that like button and uh, if you like to put a smile on the three little kids faces please hit that subscribe button okay until the next video bye for now